Aki's main anti air seems to be stand hard kick or crouch hard kick. Both are pretty much interchangeable in most scenarios. Crouch hard kick is a frame slower, but seems to have a much more recessed hurtbox. It also does a bit more damage and knocks the opponent down. Additionally, it's more likely to get a punish counter and more rewarding on punish counter. Stand hard kick does seem to have better vertical and lateral reach though, giving you a slightly larger effective range. For stand hard kick specifically, it cancels the special moves, which you can use to set up a little pressure. Or even get a juggle if you do get a punish counter. You can cancel Crouch Hard Kick to supers, and because it knocks down naturally, a punish counter isn't needed. It can be picky going at the Super 1, but Super 2 and 3 are surprisingly reliable. Of course, depending on the range, you can simply juggle Crouch Hard Kick to Super 1 or Super 3. Without a cancel, Super 2 is too slow. As for special moves, Heavy Chain stands out as a good anti-air. It's fast, has a great hitbox and hurtbox, and is especially rewarding on poisoned opponents. It's notably the best anti-air versus characters who can change their jump arcs with air specials, where Aki otherwise suffers. Medium Chain seems like it would be good, but it's pretty awful in my experience. It's mostly just a combo tool. Both versions of Hard Kick aren't great at beating would-be cross-ups. Stand Hard Kick is marginally better since it's taller and can hit opponents before they go over your head, but that's really not a situation you want to be in. Heavy Chain beats close jumps, but only if you do it early, which can be difficult. If you're really close, meeting the opponent mid-air or just crossing under them might be ideal. Alavaki supers can technically anti-air. Level 1 and level 3 only work if the opponent is pretty far out, so they're hard to use consistently. Level 3 doesn't work after Heavy Chain cancel, even if Heavy Chain hits pretty deep. Level 2 works really well if you do it early, but be mindful that it's not invincible. Of course, you can juggle into all supers after Heavy Chain if the opponent was poisoned. Aki's most simple and reliable anti-fireball is her own fireball. In fact, if she throws one at the same time as the opponent at half screen or closer, she can react with the tag on chain hit for a punish. EX Fireball is especially nice here, since not only will it ignore normal fireballs and cancel EX ones, Aki can also follow it in and get a mix up. Most of Aki's fireball punishes require a degree of prediction. Cruel Fate, Aki's dive stab special, will arc over fireballs but is too slow to be used on reaction to them. EX Chain goes through fireballs but it collides with them as it travels which slows it down. It's very rewarding on hit but how much time you have to react depends on the speed of the fireball. For the record, non EX Chain will dispel fireballs too, but if it does, it can't hit the opponent, so it's not too useful. Her Coward Crouch goes under fireballs, but using it early enough to get under them can be difficult to react. The Punch Follow Up in particular is good at coming out without getting counter hit by the fireball, and it's quite rewarding, but it's slow and massively unsafe, so it's pretty scary to do. All of her slides go past fireballs, and you can use that to rapidly close the gap or even potentially punish the fireball. This is quite risky, but extremely useful in a few key matchups. Using light slide or coward crouch then standing are perfectly reasonable ways to stall during a fireball war, and unlike neutral jumps or perfect parries, they fake an approach. Light slide is actually especially interesting, as the fireball invincibility ends at the same time as the move's recovery, which means even if a fireball is on top of you, you can block or parry it. 
Level 3 punishes fireballs, but you have to be pretty close, depending on how wide the opponent's hurtbox gets for their fireball animation. Aki's EX Teleport is invincible to strikes and projectiles from frame 1, however it can be thrown at any point during the animation and it's a punish counter throw. Level 1 is invincible to hits and grabs, but like all level 1s it can be hit by fireballs. Level 3 is fully invincible, but of course it's very expensive. Notably, level 2 seems to have no invincibility at all, so don't use it for reversals. Most important first, Aki's Coward Crouch Kick is safe on block at minus 3. Considering how rewarding this special is, the fact that it's safe makes it much easier to use in block strings and when fishing for counter hits. All meterless versions of Cruel Fade are minus 3 on block. The EX version is actually plus 2. Toxic Wreath, Quarter Circle Back Hard Punch, is only minus 4. Maybe if you do it point blank you could get punished by some characters, but it seems to generally be safe, especially in block strings. Aki's Light Chain is minus 6 at best, but given how easily you can space it, it'll generally go unpunished, I think. You do have to be somewhat careful that Reversal 4 frames can sometimes catch the hurtbox before it retracts, though. EX Fireball is plus 1 on block, and even more depending on how far it has to travel before hitting. Even regular Fireball can be safe in a long-range cancel. Aki has a lot of poking attacks, but no solid catch-all poke. Most of them are highly specialized. Light Chain obviously gives her some great mid-screen presence, though it's not particularly rewarding. Medium Punch cancels, and it's 6-frame startup with decent reach. Though it moves before it hits, making it vulnerable to getting counter-hit. Low Medium Punch is 8-frame startup with similarly good reach, and it also cancels. It's pretty low risk to throw it out, and it can be whiff cancelled to EX Chain or Drive Rush pretty easily. Stand Hard Kick has the most range of her cancels, and very workable speed at 9 frame startup. It's better than you'd think in neutral, but definitely too slow to be abusable. It's not overly risky to throw out her Coward Crouch Kick in neutral, and it can work against a lot of things, but it does sacrifice some pressure on block. Crouch Light Kick and Crouch Medium Kick are very decent buttons for their range and speed. But they're fundamentally unrewarding unless you can land them point blank. Towards Hard Kick is plus on block and combos on hit with pretty good reach. It can situationally hop over lows, but despite the animation it's not airborne. Crouch Hard Punch is your sweep. The range and speed are good, and it fills a nice hole in her kit punishing anything too far away for Stand Hard Kick to catch. She has a couple other long reach attacks in Stand Hard Punch and Towards Hard Punch. But they're really just way too slow to be functional. They're too vulnerable to the opponent's buttons generally, I think. Aki's most damaging route on normal connect is stand hard kick to coward crouch kick, then light punch to heavy chain. Depending on range, you can often do two light punches, and that generally raises the damage actually. This is the kind of route you'd use after landing a jump normal or crush counter crumple. Note that all of Aki's routes to chain get extensions if the opponent is poisoned. After Heavy Chain, the mid-screen Meteorless Ender is simply a Light Chain, which is not only free damage, but also repoisons the opponent. While this route is good, it's extremely restrictive for extensions. There's no good way to put an EX into it, and Drive Rush from Light Normals won't increase the damage much. So it's best to Drive Rush right at the start. After a Drive Rush Medium or Heavy, Aki's best route is Medium Kick, Heavy Kick most of the time. From there you just do your normal route. If the opponent is poisoned, Draw Drive Rush after Heavy Chain adds some nice damage in Corner Carry, and it's relatively cheap at 1 bar since it's not done from a cancel. The best ender I can find seems to be Heavy Kick to Medium Chain. Though there are a few variations depending on spacing, or if you use multiple drive rushes. Okay. 
If you want to land level 1 or level 2, the basic route is to just cancel the super instead of heavy chain. If the opponent's poisoned, you've got a bit of freedom depending on how many drive rushes you want to spend. Level 3 has the same setups as the other two supers, though with level 3 you can additionally cancel into it from Heavy Chain. Without poison, Aki's corner routes don't actually change much. If the opponent is poisoned, most of her launches allow a juggle to Toxic Wreath. From there you can get a light chain and even juggle any super after it. The light chain consumes your poison, but the Yoki timing is enough to get a poison trap up and still be plus. Even still, you might choose to forgo the light chain just to have even more Yoki time and maintain the poison. After Drive Impact Wall Splat, a typical meterless route would be Hard Kick to Toxic Wreath, then Light Chain. And as usual, you can use one or multiple Drive Rushes to extend the combo. Aki's light normal routes are some of the most restrictive in the game. Her only 4 frame is crouching jab, which only combos to more crouching lights. From there, you can get light or heavy chain, toxic wreath, or any super. She has a target combo of two standing light punches. Despite what you guessed, this does the same damage as two crouch light punches. And also gets no new routes. So the main advantage over the crouching light punches seems to be that the first hit always combos to the second. Which can be really useful in some of her confirms. Note that the two light punch target combo is safe on block at minus three. Two crouch jabs is only minus one and leaves you outside throw range, making it generally less vulnerable. No EX move combos from lights. Your drive combo route is drive rush, light punch, then standard crouch medium punch. Naturally, if your opponent is poisoned, all your extensions work. As Aki's Coward Crouch Kick is safe, just doing block strings into it functions as a hit confirm. This is especially attractive since Hard Kick to Coward Crouch Kick is a frame trap on block and a combo on hit. You can even delay the frame trap with a later kick press. She has a few other confirms of note. Stand medium kick to stand medium punch is a very nice confirm for most combos. And especially for drive rush, since you get much better returns from drive rush mediums than from lights. Towards hard kick is one of Aki's only plus on block attacks, and on hit you can combo crouch light punch. This confirm is very easy since you have two hits to react. Crouch medium kick is plus four on hit, and Aki can link a crouch jab. In this way, it's basically a slower, stronger crutch light kick and has all the same conversions. It's not too hard to sneak in the occasional cruel fate. The heavy one is the slowest, but you can link a crutch light punch. Hard punch can be single hit confirmed into the hard punch target combo. This is especially good when the opponent is poisoned. Cancels to Fireball can situationally be safe, and anytime you see one hit, you can tag on the chain for some free damage. 
Toxic Wreath is also generally safe and can be used to confirm level 3. Cancels to EX Chain, or even just using EX Chain in neutral, such as in a Fireball War or as a Whiff Punish, can be pretty low risk from afar. On hit, you get either a Crouch Light Punch on Normal Connect. Or any normal you want if your opponent is poisoned. EX Fireball is plus on block, and on hit can be used to confirm level 2. Crouch Hard Kick has a long cancel window, and can be raw confirmed to any super. On normal counter hit, either of Aki's Light Punches links to stay medium punch. This is her most useful string for turn stealing. Stay medium punch links to light punch, and by extension the TC. Same for her overhead. Stay medium kick links to crutch medium punch. This conversion is mostly the same as stay medium punch, except this gives you a new route to her EX chain. Crouch Medium Kick gets a link to Stay Medium Punch, very useful for Drive Rush. Like most SF6 multi-hit attacks, Towards Hard Kick carries the counter hit bonus across both hits, so she gets a new link to Stay Medium Punch here, too. This also applies for her Coward Crouch Kick and Cruel Fate. In all these instances, it's not hard to react to the counter hit due to the multiple hits. Medium Curl Fate gets a new link to Light Punch. The medium version is considerably faster than the heavy one, and thus generally easier to use in neutral. If the opponent does something minus 9 or worse, Stand Hard Kick Punish Counter gives you a few options. The simplest is a cancel to Heavy Curl Fate, which combos then allows you to link Crouch Jab. If you want to Drive Rush in there, stay Medium Kick, Medium Kick, Medium Punch is technically damage optimal most of the time. But Medium Kick to Hard Kick is a bit more reliable if you don't have time to get point blank. If the opponent is poisoned, it gets much more complicated. I think optimal is technically hard kick to coward crouch punch, but from there you have a ton of routes based on position and resources. Aki's 4 frame punish is the rather simple crouch light punch to stay medium punch. If you have time for a 6 frame punish, Aki can actually do stay medium punch to coward crouch kick. Any of Aki's cancelable attacks can be buffered to drive rush and neutral to great effect. As I've shown, if it's a light normal, you get light punch to medium punch, and if it's a medium or heavy normal, you get medium kick to hard kick. As for good normals to do out of drive rush, low medium kick is plus 8 on hit and links easily to her low medium punch. Her overhead is plus 7 and links to medium punch. Towards Hard Kick is a whopping plus 6 on block, plus 8 on hit. Good for mix-ups on block and combos on hit, especially for its huge range and long active frames. Medium Punch is plus 7 and links to itself.
been showing off Aki's various juggles throughout the video, so I'll try and look over the ones I haven't shown already here. After a light chain on a cornered poisoned opponent, you can often pick up Crutch Hard Punch. It's possible to combo out of a very high anti-air heavy chain, but it's rarely available. If you ever get a mid-air connect of Heavy or EX Cruel Fate, you get to juggle the Heavy Chain or any super. This also applies to juggles to Cruel Fate for what it's worth, but there you only get super. In juggles you can cancel into EX Chain, which can lead to some interesting combos depending on your starter. Jump medium punch causes a knockdown mid-air. This is useful for air-to-airs because you get Okizema, but it's pretty rare to get a juggle in my experience. Your best hope is Heavy Chain. Heavy Cruel Fate seems reliable after a mid-air connect crumple drive impact. This lets you land Heavy Chain or any super. You can probably get more here with Drive Rush, but I often find myself going under my opponent. As usual, anything minus 3 or better becomes plus when the opponent is burned out. This means Aki's Coward Crutch Kick to Crutch Light Punch becomes an incredibly potent sequence. Stay Medium Punch is also very potent since it's plus 1 on block and advances. It looks goofy, but this sequence is uninterruptible except by supers. And if they do press, regardless of which normal they press on, you get a counter hit conversion with the same sequence. Not to mention, Medium Punch to Coward Crouch is also a frame trap on burned out opponents, so this whole sequence loops. And it also gives you some nice returns on counter hit if they press. Towards Hard Kick is slow enough that you can't block string into it without a gap, but it's plus 6 on block. That's enough that the opponent can't interrupt a stand Hard Kick even with a reversal 4 frame. If the opponent is standing in poison, it's possible to re-poison them mid-combo. This enables some strange new routes. On a non-poisoned opponent, heavy chain into an immediate jump allows for a safe jump, but you have to do a cross-up normal or not based on whether the opponent back rolls. Sneaking in a cancel to heavy or EX slide when cornered can be good for a surprise escape. Aki's coward crouch ducks under drive impact if Aki doesn't press. This is by design and prevents drive impact from being a hard counter to it. That's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching, and leave a comment for anything I missed so I and others can learn from it.